everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. Bloom! And today guys, it's Manchester United 1, West Ham United 0, Manchester United through to the FA Cup quarterfinals after extra time, a long time, trust me. Oh. Wow, nil nil in full 90 minutes going into extra time. Manchester United finally breaking their deadlock with Scott McSauce. Yes, Scott McSauce came on to save us, save our day, save our tie. We are through the match itself. Not too much to talk about, guys, but a couple of good things about it and a couple of bad things about it. But apart from that, what can you say? We're through. On to the next round. We move on. We are happy with the result. But not the performance precisely, but the result we are all happy with, guys. What can you not be happy about? If you're not happy with the result but and mad at the performance, I can understand. But apart from that, we're Manchester United. We have to win these ties regardless. We move on, guys. Yes. And let's go straight into the match because, boy, oh, boy. That first 45 minutes, Manchester United dominating the ball, having so much possession, but doing with the ball you know imagine that with the ball imagine that remind me of that kid back in school you know that kid that's back in school that's got everything you know like they have the brand new trainers the brand new games the brand new jackets the expensive one the top designer they have everything in life because they're the only kid in it and then their parents get them everything and they just show off with everything and then they tell you that they're the best at football and they're very they're sick at fever when, when you go to their house yeah of course, they have the brand new PlayStation 5. They got their special edition PlayStation 5. They probably got a gold PlayStation pad. And also, they got the special edition of FIFA. As soon as you play them, you find out they're shit. They're shit at FIFA. And they're shit at playing football. They get so upset because you whoop their ass. They kick you out and tell you not to come back. That kind of kid right there. That's, what, that's Manchester United with the ball right there. Dude, all that shit. All the facilities in the world. The greatest facilities in the world. The best coaches in the world. But with the ball, can't do shit. F4 with the ball. Can you? Oh, this is disgusting. This, this really annoys me. I've been echoing this for time and time. You can go past my previous video. You feel like it's, I'm just, re, I'm not even remixing. You feel like it's, I'm just playing the same thing over and over again. Like, we'll shit with the ball. We'll shit with the ball. You know, guys, we're really shit with the ball today, you know? Oh, guys, we're not ever going to learn with the ball. It's been like that all this time. We are shit with the ball, like. Seriously. It pisses me off. That first 45 minutes, we did nothing at all. We had the ball, like, but it, in terms of going and challenging the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper had a nice time in the first 45 minutes. He could have went home, saw his wife, done a couple of things with his wife, come back at half time. We would have not scored a goal against that goalkeeper. And, and again, he would have still came back at half time. And I said, you know what, yeah, let me go and make myself a burger or something that I'll take a dump, man. Come back. It's still new, new at full time. Manchester United. Oh, that first full 90 minutes. Like, what did we really do? Nothing, guys. Going into extra time, I'm there thinking, raw, like, seriously, will we get knocked out today? Because I, I can't deal with this right now. We've had poor result. A poor result against um, Everton. And then now, West Ham, where we really need to win to, just to show that we can do things. Because I, I was bigging them up. I was like, no, my night will sex up West Ham. They will do a thing against West Ham. At Old it's at Old Trafford. But I forgot that Old Trafford isn't our fortress right now. The first 15 minutes of that extra time, Scott McSauce coming through, pulling through, scoring a goal for us, you know, to just break the deadlock. I was like, woo, finally. Finally, some relief. I'm happy. Yay. Because, boy, like I said before, Getting knocked out in the FA Cup right now wouldn't look good on us. Wouldn't look good on Ali as, as well, bruv. It would be pressure and his ass would be on fire if he was to get knocked out today. And that's it with the extra time. Manchester United going through, you know, not the best performance as course because there's, there's, there's been a couple of changes. It's not like it's a major change. Bruno wasn't playing, he came on. You know, Cavani didn't start and he came on. You know, Shaw didn't stop, but he then came on. I, I don't understand. You could have given Tevez the whole, what, what's it called, the whole hour plus the extra time. But that's Manchester United going through to the quarterfinals, winning it 1-0 against West Ham with a single goal. Uh, well, we're through. We are through. Manchester United, Holics, we are through. What? 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 Like, I know. It was a shit game. 
it, it was boring in terms of what we've done, in terms of possession and everything. It was just crap. But hey, we move it on to our next game in the Premier League. Hopefully, we can win that and recuperate points as well. Hopefully, a couple of teams drop off, guys. Guys, let me know exactly who, what you thought of the match as well. What you thought of the result and the performance. Man of the match today, guts to go to Tellez for me. I thought he was exceptional in the first 45 minutes. Especially going forward, whipping in those crosses and, you know, especially playing lovely passes forward as well. Don't give the match, guys. It has to go to two players today for the first time, you know. Marcus Crashford and also Anthony Marshall. I'm not going to call him Marcio. He doesn't deserve the French accent today because he's moving like Marshall. Marshall matters today. Bro, Marshall, do you have something in your closet that you're strapped in your closet that you want to get out, bro? Is there something going on at home? Like, what is going on with Marshall? He hasn't been the same. Just like our defence hasn't been the same. Our attack hasn't been the same this season. What's going on? Is it Oli? Is it Oli? Is it, is it you? Is it you, Oli? Is it the coaches? Is it is it, is it you, Carrick? Is it you, Darren Fletcher? Is it you, McKenna? Or is it Matt Feeling? Because I've not been feeling him for a while, bro. Marcus Crashford. Rashford. Trashford. Rash Bandicoot. Playing the, playing the scene in Rash Bandicoot, I mean, sorry, Crash Bandicoot, where you're running backwards. Because sometimes he just crashes into things. He don't think at all, bro. But, boy, oh, I've had my say with this guy. All I wanted to do is improve. I get it. Fantastic assist, by the way, Marcus Rashford. But the overall 90 minutes, Crashford, Rash Bandicoot running running backwards from that ball. Booga, 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 falling down the hole. I mean, falling down the the hole, you know, not looking at where you're going, just looking behind you and then, and then just falling down. That is Rashford for you, you know. Oh. Anyway, guys, it's your boy, Ivor Spice. This has been your match reaction, guys. I'm just glad that we've threw to the next round of the quarterfinals. You get me, bro. Let me know exactly who your man of the match was and who your donkey of the match was, guys. And, and of course, as always, remember to follow the social medias, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, my personal. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And also, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share Ivorian Spice. Remember to share to people you like, people you don't like, also your exes and your current girlfriend right now, your current boyfriend, you know? Let them know about Ivorian Spice, you get me? Hell you get me. And as always, guys, this has been your match reaction as well. Your boy Ivor is spice. As always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united, guys, because I'm out. Boom.